What's up YouTube? Welcome to Work From Home Tech. In this video, we'll talk about ERP software, we'll talk about what to look for, what to avoid, and then we'll talk about three different software versions that are open source products that you can use in your business. Let's go. What is ERP software? ERP software, or Enterprise Resource Planning software, is business management software that helps organizations automate and integrate various business processes. This can include financial management such as accounting, human resource management such as time cards or vacation management, supply chain and inventory management in the case of an e-com business, can also include customer relations management that you'll typically find in most businesses. The software provides a centralized database such as MySQL, Postgres, Microsoft SQL, or Oracle, typically in a real-time data sharing and collaboration environment to streamline operations, improve efficiency, and help organizations make better informed business decisions. ERP software also provides benefits such as improved data accuracy, increased productivity, enhanced customer satisfaction, because it's all about making customers happy, and better financial management to better manage the organization and profits. Overall, ERP software is a tool that can help organizations of all sizes and industries improve the operations, reduce costs, and drive growth. This video reviews several open source software projects that may be useful for your business. For this video, we'll take a look at three open source software packages, starting with Dollybar, the most mature, created in 2002. Next, we'll take a look at Odoo, which is created in 2005, that is more CRM based. Finally, we have ERP Next, created in 2008 by the FRAP company, and using that framework, that is our final one and we'll take a look at things to look for in these products such as business features for your business intuitiveness to make it easy for your employees to learn importance to customers those are the features that you need for your customers and finally extensibility is it something that's customizable and it integrates well with other products next we'll look at things to avoid like difficulties in automating the process you need, non-customizable software if you need to add fields or different functions, you're looking for non-user friendly software, avoid that as well, limited longevity, what's the end of life for your product you select, and finally, expensive add-on costs that cost you a fortune. So for this software comparison, I kept it simple and I utilized a table that you see here with the three products compared going from a value of one to five with five being the best. I ranked them all and we're gonna take a look at each one by one. So let's go ahead and take a look at our three products. What I've done is I've gone ahead and installed Odoo, Dolly Bar, and ERP Next on a server I have here inside of Docker containers. Uh, one of the things that I'll talk about here shortly was that install uh, experience that I had. But let's go ahead and take a look at Odoo first. I want to kick something off that I think is very important to see. Uh, essentially, they're very similar in that they have menus over on the left-hand side. You can see here we have the menu system to set up all the settings. Now, Odoo kind of leans harder into the CRM or customer relations management. Um, Dolly Bar and ERP Next, they lean over harder into the enterprise resource planning. And that's one of the things you'll see here as I walk through it. Now, one thing I wanna go ahead and take care of out of the gate, uh, let me go back to all. So taking a look at all the different modules and features that you can include in this out of the box open source version, uh, everything with the activate means you can turn it on and it'll be available as a feature. And everything with the upgrade is an upcharge or an additional module you'll have to get. 
Uh, now I'll go back to accounting and go ahead and continue with what I wanted to say here. Uh, if you take a look at accounting, it is marked as upgrade, which I wasn't necessarily pleased with because most businesses are going to want accounting features in their company management software packages. Uh, I, I did go to the actual upgrade. If you go to the upgrade site and you take a look at Odoo, they offer one free app hosted in the cloud. You can see right here, um, one app for free. And one thing that you can do is take a look at the accounting. Uh, the accounting app is literally over the top. It is just way worth it if you're really looking to go with actual Odoo. Um, but I'm not going to linger on that too much. Um, you can see here, here's some of the bank synchronization options, the layouts of some of the reports, uh, time saving tools they have, fiscal localizing packages. Uh, here you can see the reports. Um, the database information you have, um, lots of things supported in that accounting, but let's go ahead and go back to Odoo. All right. Um, what I wanted to do here is I wanted to go ahead and go to the website function. Uh, the website functionality in Odoo, uh, is pretty good. I have to give it a lot of credit over everything else because it even includes a e-learning module that we'll look at here that I think is really well done. Um, so clicking the activate of the website essentially kicks off a couple of dialogues that walks you through the process of creating your website. So here it says, are you ready to create? And we say, let's do it. Um, I want a business site and we're going to say consulting business. And it will say computer consulting. Let's just do that. And our main objective is to, I guess, inform customers. Let's go ahead and pick a color scheme. Um, and you also have an opportunity to upload your logo for your company. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and chose a pre-made palette. Let's go with something like this, maybe a dark theme. Now, here we have add pages and features. Uh, so I want an about, I want a services, I want success story, I want prices, and let's see, store locator. Let's go with that. I'll say build my website, and then we will chose a layout for the website with that color scheme we picked. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Um, I think I like the middle one. I do like this one. So we're going to go ahead and go with this middle website. We're going to pick that. Now, as that continues to build out our website, um, in my testing, I found that sometimes this will hang and it'll stay there for a while. I'm not sure why it does that. If anybody knows, leave a comment. Uh, then we go over to Dolly Bar, which is a similar layout. You can see the menu over here on the left-hand side. Uh, the apps that are available or the modules or add-ons a uh, simple slider to turn them on turn them off one thing that you'll note if we go down to the financial this has extensive financial support for accounting you can do the simplified accounting and then you even have double book entry accounting um, which I, I found to be uh, much better than Odoo where you have to actually have a separate module now, one of the other things is there is definitely website support in here. There are interfaces with external systems like PayPal, uh, Paybox. There's the um, social networks that Stripe. So you have a lot of integration with third party applications and you can add that to your site. Now, when you actually want to go to the website, uh, let's see, uh, this lets you set up multiple websites here. You can create multiple websites and it'll, they'll appear here in this drop down. I just created an initial boilerplate one. You can see this website is up. It's not as robust as you're going to see here in a minute when we go back to Odoo. Um, but it does and it gets the job done. Uh, 
let's go ahead and go back to the home and we'll go back to we got a, a view here in one of the dashboards um, but we'll go back to the setup and leave it on a setup um, now for the most part I don't have time to go through every single option every single module and every single function on all three of these uh, that would make this video way too long um, so we're gonna move on to ERP next ERP next we have a similar layout with the menu on the left hand side uh, we can see that we have the integrations here um, integrations with Google services there's authentication services Dropbox services webhooks uh, we can go to the website now one of the things that I noticed on their website it's a little more uh, I, I guess lower level you key can get in there and you may have to get your hands dirty with setting up your style sheets and things like that now they did provide some videos you can actually click this button and it will play a video to help you out with setting up your website uh, but it's definitely not the point select what type of business what kind of goal you want for your business and then let it build your website it's definitely not going to do that for you uh, but it does have some nice integrations woocommerce plaid um, and then when we get into uh, the actual software itself we have everything over here kind of laid out for you where you go into the accounting here's all your accounting support modules um, you got the assets if you want your CRM here's your CRM functions and features um, like sales and pipeline we can go here and we can start setting that up let's go back uh, I don't necessarily like this setup as much as I do with the uh, other two of Odoo and the dolly bar where you have cards and you can just kind of select what you want um, here's quality control where you set that up and there's retail control where you can set that up uh, but it's definitely going to be a product that is something that can be utilized for your business uh, this has a large following just like dolly bar I think Dolly Bars is pretty huge. Uh, they have a lot of, of language support, so it's utilized in a lot of different countries. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back here. Uh, like I said, I don't know why, but it seems to be getting hung up um, on that build. We'll go ahead and force ourselves into the website. Now, if you look at that nice, good-looking website that would have our logo if we had uploaded it. Um, there's that theme that we selected and it kind of created a boilerplate which includes um, the actual did I include the enterprise learning I don't think I did let's go back and we'll go back to the apps and I'll make sure that the learning is turned on So we go to website and we go to e-learning and we'll activate that e-learning. Uh, so the e-learning module is going to come up. We'll let that spin and uh, let's go ahead and go back to the website now. And let's see if it takes me there. It looks like it's going to take me there. And it looked like it sort of did. Actually, let's just go ahead and uh, jump off into the website. And yeah, it's kind of doing that hang up thing again. Let's go ahead and force it. Force it back. I'm going to have to go and find out later where what's going wrong with that. Um, I should be able to see. There we go. Uh, see the courses. There's a link for courses. So you can have your courses here. Uh, we have listed here some of the example courses in a demonstration database I, I went ahead and set up from one of the previous times but you can see if you drill down into this course uh, it gives you the different lessons it can it allow you to do quizzes um, and then you can actually have content here where it shows video 
Um, it goes into full screen mode while I'm recording this. I want to exit full screen mode uh, so it doesn't slow everything down. Uh, but you can see here, you can embed YouTube videos inside of your course, uh, which is really nice. I like that about Odoo because uh, that was point and click setup for that. And then you go in and do the customization you need. Uh, it will track your students as well. Um, so essentially, that's just a quick rundown of these. Like I said, I'm, I wasn't going to spend too long. Let's go ahead and get into the actual scoring that I gave everything. Um, because some of the things that are things I didn't like, I kind of went through here. Some of the things that I really liked, um, I talked about. And when we get to the actual scoring, I will uh, identify where I placed the different products in relationship to one another. So for the voting for what we have and what to look for, um, we have essentially the business features. We gave Odoo a three, Dolly Bar a five, ERP Next a five. For intuitiveness, um, we gave Odoo a four, Dolly Bar a four, and ERP Next a three. Features important to the customer, we gave Odoo a five and Dolly Bar and ERP Next a four. And extensibility, we gave Odoo a three, Dolly Bar a five, and ERP Next five. And the winner being Dolly Bar with a total of 18 points, uh, just over ERP Next. And then we have Odoo in last. Next, I want to go to the things to avoid. Uh, my final review on the last things of what to avoid. We've got that difficulty to process or difficulty to animate the processes. Um, I gave Odoo a five, Dolly Bar a five, and ERP Next a four. And for non-customizable software, I gave Odoo a four, Dolly Bar a five, and ERP Next a five. And then we gave not user-friendly Avoiding that, you don't want that non-user-friendly software. Uh, Odoo, of course, is the top on that one. Then we have Dolly Bar, and then going down from there is ERP Next. Limited longevity, got a four for Odoo, a five for Dolly Bar, and a five for ERP Next. And our last category to avoid, the expensive add-on costs. Uh, there we go with Odoo at a two, Dolly Bar at a five, and of course, Dolly Bar and ERP Next are at fives. So the final summation, we have Dolly Bar with 42 points in the winner. We have ERP Next with 39 points and then Odoo with 35 points. And that's just my opinion, uh, my recommendation, um, and that's just for me and my business needs. That's it for this video. If you like the content, go ahead and subscribe for more content. And if you want to support me, hit the thumbs up. That's all I need. And if you got questions, comments, concerns, gripes, moans, also leave a comment. I try my best to respond to the comments as quick as I can and get back to you with a honest and truthful comments. Thank you for watching the video. And have a great day.